All right, today we have the Blue Eddy B210 expansion battery for the AC240. Let's open it up. All right, we have the B210 expansion battery user manual. We have our accessory box here. And inside this bag, we have the expansion battery cable and a solar charging cable. All right, and there's the battery. So we've got the power button, we've got our DC output on and off, and that is going to turn on our USB-C and USB-A output, and also the cigarette lighter style jack, which these outputs I believe can be used independently from the AC240. So I think we can just go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go. And then we've got our battery indicator here. And I think we can turn on the DC output. Yes. And let's check to see if we've got voltage coming out of our 12 volt style lighter jack here. Now we've got a light on this unit. And we have, shows 13 volts on my fluke. So yes, we do. All right, and so on this side, we have our expansion battery cable plugs. So one of them goes to the AC240, and the other one can be connected to another expansion battery. And on this side, we have our DC slash PV input. It can accept 11 to 60 volts DC at 10 amps for a 500 watts max. So let's check the specifications here on the back. Our input, we can do 11 to 30 volts DC at eight amps. Our PV, we can do 11 to 60 volts at 10 amps, 500 watts max like we just saw. Our battery capacity is 2,150 watt hours, 51.2 volts. Our outputs, uh, we have a USB-A, five volt, three amps, nine volt, 2 amps, 12 volt, 1.5 amp, and our USB-C has 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20 volt, 3 amp, and 20 volt at 5 amp, and our cigarette lighter port is 12 volt at 10 amp. All right, so let's get a weight on this unit, and it weighs in at 60 pounds. All right, so that's both units stacked on one another, the AC240 and the B210 expansion battery. It is quite tall with them stacked up like that. Let's take a measurement. And uh, we're standing 26 and a half inches. So let's go ahead and wire them together. We're gonna use the extension cable here. There we go. And there we go. Now, you should be able just to turn one on and it turns them both on. Yeah, so the battery came on and the AC240 came on at the same time. Now the AC240 screen started off at 100% because this thing was fully charged, but since this guy's not fully charged, it's showing 80% down here. The screen up here updated to 82%. So let's go ahead and charge the units with AC. Here we go. So we got the AC grid plugged in. We're showing 470 watts right there. Oh, well, now we're ramping up. Okay, there we go, we're at 1428. Now we're at 1700 watts. All right, so I got the app pulled up. So for pack one, it's actually showing the AC240, which is the power station itself. It's showing its stated charge at 100%. And then the pack two, it is showing as the B210, which is the expansion battery. And it shows its stated charge at 
79% right now. All right, so I'm just gonna let that thing continue to charge all the way up and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, so the whole unit is fully charged. We're sitting at a 100%. And I've got it over on the side of my house because we're going to plug in my RV. So let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. And let's turn the AC output on. And showing we're pulling 330-ish watts. All right, now I think right off the bat, let's just go ahead and try to start this AC. Oh, yeah, it started right up. Let's go out there and see how many watts we're pulling. Yeah, uh, a little over a thousand watts. And it's showing about 3.3 .3 hours. And let's turn on the refrigerator. And here's the app pulled up. We're actually showing 1.5 kilowatts coming out. That's where the air conditioner, uh, the refrigerator, and I think the battery's charging too. The RV battery what I'm talking about yeah seems to be working just fine yeah 1587 watts I think I'm just gonna let that run for a little while and I'll be back all right so let's check it now Okay, so we're at 52%. Shows we got about 2.4 hours to go. And we're down to 740 watts. And I think that's probably because the AC compressor has cycled off. It's probably cooled down in here. It's not a very hot day anyway. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's just blowing cool air. It's not uh, cold. Yeah, let's just go ahead and turn it off. So the only thing that should be running right now is the refrigerator, which it's getting cold in there. And probably the battery charger. Let's go ahead and turn, let's turn that refrigerator off. And we can actually turn all the lights off. The lights are all LED, so they shouldn't be taking much power. But let's just go ahead and turn them all off. There you go. Oh, we got another one here. And that's it. So let's go see what we're pulling. Okay, so 200 watts. Yeah, so I think that's just the battery being charged up. There's a lead acid battery up here at the front on the tongue. And uh, I believe that's what's being charged right now. Okay, now I want to hook up solar to both the AC240 and the B210 battery because it has its own solar input as does the AC240. Uh, this one I'll hook up to, I think, the B210, and the 240 I'll hook up to that one. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in the AC240. All right, so we got one solar array in there. Let's give it a minute here to, there we go. It's starting to show some DC input. 
Looks like we've got 625 watts. So let's go ahead and plug in the expansion battery. Let's see what happens there. Hmm. I'm not actually seeing any change here. Yeah, I'm not sure if anything's telling me that this is charging or not. I guess what we can do is we can hook up a clamp meter here to see if anything's going in. Yeah, actually it's showing 10 amp, well actually 11 amps going in to the B210 and we're showing like 21 amps going into the AC240. Uh, so it definitely is charging from both arrays. It's just, it doesn't actually tell you. It only shows the top one. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we unplug it. Yeah, it doesn't show anything here. But it does still show the battery is charging. Yeah, the app shows the battery at 43%. Let's let it continue to charge to see if that goes up. All right, so yeah, it is charging. The uh, state of charge is going up. We're at 44% now. And even the top part, the AC240, is showing 56. So it's getting a charge as well. And they're both showing charge as the status. Uh, yeah, so it works. It just doesn't report <laughs> the wattage anywhere. Um, which I thought maybe it would have shown it up here or added it to uh, what this one's doing as well. But as far as being able to see the wattage coming in, you can only see that from the AC240. So we'll see the wattage coming in from its solar input. But we don't see the wattage coming in from this guy. We can only see that it's charging, that's it. Yeah, so there's probably another, probably another 300 plus watts coming in from down here that uh, we're just not we're just not able to see all right so I'm just gonna let those two charge for a bit from solar and we'll be back all right so both of these fully charged up and now what I want to do is I want to do a usable capacity test on the b210 battery so let's go ahead and turn it on all right, let's turn the DC output on. And so we're showing 12.7 volts. Let's go ahead and start the test. There we go. So we're pulling about 109.4 watts. And I'll just let that continue on and I'll be back when it's complete. All right, the test is complete, and we got 1,768.4 watt hours of usable capacity through the cigarette lighter port. All right, guys, so I think that's gonna be it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. Leave your comments and let me know what you think about the expansion battery. I'll leave links in the description, and I'll catch you in the next one.